72 at Garden City, 70 reported by Dodge City and Liberal, 72 two, two over by the good folks. Hello folks, welcome to this new video, my name is Andre and today I'm going to tell you 8 tips to improve your workflow and games on Fusion. We all know that the built-in movements in Fusion kinda suck, even though they definitely improve with some little tricks. So probably you're thinking to make your own movement engine, but when it comes to collision, Fusion easily can be a nightmare, especially if you use load values. So here it comes, first tip, use the platformer movement object extension. Probably you're thinking that this extension is bad, but it is very versatile. It has a good collision system, a pause movement, you can change variables like speed, acceleration, deceleration, gravity, jump and loops. You can use statements like on ground, is falling, is jumping, and all this stuff works really really good. And it will save you a lot of time. Second tip, use squares and rectangles like player objects. To have better collisions, just avoid using sprites, avoid using shape changing actives or animations in general. This way you'll improve your collisions. Tip number 3. Use the built-in controller. Nowadays this is a must, your game needs to support controllers. So you can use the extensions or you can use the built-in system. Actually, using the built-in system, it will save you a lot of time, because you code only once the controls, and the controls are both compatible with the keyboard or the controller, so this is very very handy. Tip number 4. Use tiles. Tiles are very good, they allow you to make fast level creations, use the paint tool, and use the snap to the grade function. This way you can have tiles 64 for 64, 32 for 32, 16 for 16 and 8 for 8. There are free softwares that you can use like GraphicGale, Piscal, Krita and Paint.net. There are commercial ones like PixelEdit and Asprite. So just go out there and grab one of these and use them to make your art. Tip number 5. Don't use actives when not necessary. Actives are used when you have animations or you want to interact with them by events. So, if you have a static image, you can use a backdrop. Backdrops have built-in functions like obstacle, ladder or platform. This will save you RAM and will improve your game performance in general. Tip number 6. Learn the basics and take it polished. This may be a little bit stupid to be told, but I watched a lot of people that just don't know the basics. So, learn the logic behind the events, learn the basic functions and conditions, like always, start of frame, repeat only once, all this stuff is the heart of your game, so take it polished, comment your events, use groups and subgroups to improve the order of the events, that way you can activate and deactivate groups of events that are needed or are needed in such moments when the game is running. Tip number 7. Use 16.9 resolutions. This is important for full screen games because nowadays the screens are 69 basically, so using this kind of resolution allows you to have a better full screen game. You can go and watch this list in which are all the true 69 resolutions that you can use in your game. Tip number 8. Learn fast loops and on each object. Fast loops are very powerful, they basically execute a bunch of events instantly, so they are very important when you have to check IDs or lists and stuff like that. You can use as well on each object loop that is a way to discriminate the same instances, this way we can interact with each of them, so this is very important when you have a lot of the same object. I have an extra tip, so tip number 9, prototype a lot. <laughs> Since Fusion don't have frame childs, just make sure before you start making a lot of levels, you already made the core mechanics of your game. Ok guys, these were the tips, now these aren't universal, this just work well in general, so take this in mind. If you have any questions, just let me know down in the comment section. If you want, you can come to my discord, we are just a few people, but 
we have fun time to time. Make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of videos and if you want to know more about game dev and fusion and other engines as well. See you in the next video and keep making games! Thank you.